difference. I'm just putting like a ton of texturizing spray. This is Dry Bar's Triple Sec. This is my favorite. Hello, hi, here I am at Toronto. I feel like I've just created like a smoke of hairspray, but <laughs> I'm staying at the Drake Hotel. This is actually the exact same room that I stayed in last year when I came. Uh, so it's like a little bit of just, just a lot of fond memories spilling back in. But last year I didn't vlog, so this time I'm gonna change that. Uh, so yesterday I came in around like 8.30 p.m. I am here in Toronto for a video shoot. I am so freaking excited. Uh, this is something that Danny and I just randomly planned like three weeks ago at, at my place and now it's here, it's happening. I'm gonna go get some breakfast downstairs because the in-room dining service has been busy for the past 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna go downstairs myself and then head on over to the studio. The color scheme is wonderful. I got the veggie plate. It's so healthy. Okay, let's dig in. All right, so this is our last scene of the day and probably our favorite because of that orange TV, which they have spray painted and it still functions. It's amazing. <laughs> I love it. Well done, team. Thank you so much. Hi guys, I am back in my hotel room. I'm sitting like this because I'm not wearing any pants, TMI. I love, 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 love the team at Castor and Pollock, Sabrina, Emma, Leah, and of course, Danny. Oh, I love them so much. And today just was, it just couldn't have gone better. And I'm very, very happy. It's all just like starting to sink in now and it feels amazing. I've always, had trouble processing things like I can't be excited for something until it actually happens so for example like let's say I'm going on a trip to Japan like I'm not gonna be excited until like I'm in the plane sitting down and we're taking off and like we're about to go to Japan like that's when it all hits me so I feel like with the launch of my project coming out it's finally really starting to feel real because here I am in Toronto filming this and it just it just feels so surreal and I feel so grateful to have these opportunities so yeah I've been here for a good hour or so I've just been working and editing over there but now I'm done so Danny and I are gonna be up and we're about to have a night uh, we shot six looks today so we only have to do two tomorrow so I think we deserve you know to have a little cocktail have a little dance and just enjoy the city um oh wait go oh away fly don't ruin my shot. I'm here with the lovely Danny. She's still here. Still here. I love you so much. I love you so I much. Love you I love so you so much. much. Okay, I'll stop. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, we just got a little soup as our appetizer. Let's go check it out. Mmm. That's tasty. Mm. Thursday and it is also the last day of the shoot today. We only have two looks I am wearing one of them right now, and this is the last world It is you know just an orange room with a bit of furry blue stairs. I love it What's up guys? I am back in the hotel room. The shoot went amazing um, And I just wanted to shoot my hotel room tour before I completely forgot uh, I am staying at the Drake Hotel and I freaking love it uh, So this is the door that you come in. You're greeted with like a full-length mirror and then another mirror here And then you walk in you put your suitcases to the left and Here we have the nice spacious living room Got a little couch here where you can watch TV and relax and I guess you can host guests here. On this side there is a bar. There is a medley of alcohol choices and a little tiny champagne bottle. I may or may not have drank one last night. And of course I have my sippy cup. I can't travel anywhere without it. 
And then over here we've got the bedroom. This is like a nice king size bed. It's very comfortable. I've got some abstract art on top. And I like to sleep on the left side of the bed, so just all my essentials are there. The Kindle, kettle corn. Over here, um, a little desk area where you can work. I've yet to use that. Then over here, I've got a bathroom. Nice little setup shower over here. And then the toilet, the throne. That concludes the hotel room tour. Um, I'm just waiting for Danny now. I believe we are gonna go get some Korean food for lunch and then we're gonna go on that tower. I always forget what it's called. The Cyan, Cyan Tower? Well, yeah, we're gonna go up there because that's like one of Toronto's monuments or like landmarks. So we're gonna head on over there. <laughs> Today's mission is to go up on the CN Tower. Here we go. We're at the CN Tower and uh, Jen's about to fly. <laughs> Are you good? This is the worst dress to do that. Yeah. So it is the last day in Toronto. I'm leaving today. Uh, I just packed all my bags and I'm about to head out into the lobby to meet up with Danny. We're gonna have like our last brunch, I suppose. So I still don't know where we're going. I think we're gonna go get dim sum perhaps. Uh, surprisingly, I'm feeling pretty sad about leaving. I don't know, something about this city. I really like it here. I like the people, everyone is so nice and everyone that I've met has been like so creative and inspiring. Uh, the food has been bomb and I just generally just like the fact that we could just walk around everywhere. I think we've walked like a good five or six miles every single day and it feels good. I like being active and I love exploring the city through foot or by foot. I think once I'm on the plane I'll be like excited to go home but I just want like a couple more days here. I definitely need to come back. This is an amazing city. Alright, so we just finished dim sum and now we are at the Art Gallery of Ontario. It's so beautiful. There's no art in here in this room, but just the natural lighting is gorgeous. Oh my god! <laughs> Hi! Hi! Well, Lavender in the car. What's up? <laughs> we are heading to Jackie Ina's 30th birthday party. Mm -hmm. We are stoked. The dress code is all white, so we're looking fly in all white. <laughs> Stephanie, it was a struggle for Stephanie. Dude. She didn't have much white clothing. Jen went out to Zara yesterday and she found white pants for me. My They're, personal shopper. Yeah, but I did a pretty good job. Yeah. These are exactly what she wanted. Just like some white trousers. <laughs> They're real good. Yeah, and I already had, I only own like two white tops. And then I had to borrow a white cami to go underneath, otherwise it's gonna be like too see-through, you yeah, know? Yeah. But yeah, I think, Jen, thank you for thank the you. assistance. <laughs> I really have so much white clothing. I had yeah. so many options. So for me, I was like, okay, do I wear this dress or this like jumpsuit? Or yeah. We're so excited to be going to Jackie's party. It's gonna be at Mr. C in Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. So we'll see, you know, what happens. What happens? Hopefully there's numbs. Yes. Absolutely, I'm starving. <laughs> nice! Am I dead?
campus. Amy is our lovely tour guide. <laughs> uh, doing a back to school lookbook today. We're finally on Friday. Last outfit. As Amy just nods behind the camera. <laughs> this is Amy. She's helping out for today. She's helped so much. Like, look at this nice bathroom in UCLA that she found. <laughs> Go Bruins! <laughs> Hi everybody, good morning from New York! Here I am at the 60 Soho. It is a very nice hotel. I'm in New York for a press preview for my clothing line that's coming out, Eggy. I can finally talk about it and I feel like this vlog is really funny because you can see like the different stages on how much information I can reveal and how much I can't. I'm here to do a press preview and if you don't know what that is, it's basically like just a bunch of interviews with publications explaining and showcasing what the brand is and I it's like my first time ever doing anything like this so I'm just gonna kind of take it with each interview and that's all I can really do but I know this is gonna be like really good practice for me and a very very amazing opportunity so I can't let a couple nerves just shake me down it feels really really nice to be in New York but if I'm gonna be completely honest I do feel just like a smidge bit fried from how manic this month is. Like, I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> like I've just been taking everything day by day and I feel like every day has just been like just overstimulation. I'd rather be too busy than too bored so definitely gonna count this as a blessing. Ooh. For my hair I'm just doing like normal curls, just doing a couple inward, a couple outward, uh, just something easy. <laughs> Good morning everybody! Today is my final day in New York and quite a big day. I am at the Edition Hotel in New York and this hotel is just stunning and it smells amazing too. So far we've done WWD which was, not gonna lie, pretty nerve wracking. She had like a tape recorder and asking some like really hard questions but I think I managed to pull it together. Uh, the article comes out on the 21st I believe, don't quote me on that, uh, but we'll see what she has to say. The line is up for preview over here and it's so surreal being able to talk about it and have people come in and touch the clothing and it's been so amazing getting to explain everything. Uh, I can't believe lunch day is really coming up. Eee. All right everybody, that is a wrap. The racks are bare. The mannequins are naked. Ashley had to take off her sweater. <laughs> thank you. Ah, star of the show. Cool. Thank you. I'm having lunch with Hitomi. Hi. Hi. I think it's one of my favorite spots. Look at this. Oh my god. And this is the spicy kale salad. Mm -hmm. Yay! With rice, flour, chicken, like... These look like french fries. Yeah, wait. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <gasps> oh my god! Whoa! Whoa! That this is so really good. good! She also got me a gift from Big Sur. Mm -hmm. This is the California National Flower Poppies. Mm -hmm. Oh nice, thank you! It says all you need to grow a whole patch. Yes! <laughs> ben and I are going to be popping some children. <laughs> Creating <laughs> some life. <laughs> back from New York. It feels so good to be home and I'm still kind of decompressing from my trip. 
this trip was actually a pretty big deal. This was the first time I've ever done something like a press preview before and I feel really confident in everything that I did and um, I think that's like a big step for me because even like earlier this year I was always second guessing myself or replaying different situations that I would have done differently but I'm really just starting to let go. It happened, I can't change it and I feel like a lot of my mental growth has been through like meditating and I feel really proud of myself uh, because last time I went to New York was I think it was like in March or something, the end of March or April, uh, but I was out in New York there for a week and I was doing back-to-back -back shoots, my schedule was slammed and I actually had like a pretty crazy meltdown. Um, I was like crying in my hotel room, feeling really overwhelmed and I always thought that that was just the cycle, but I really do enjoy working but there's always like a threshold when I take up too much on my plate and then I have to have a release. It's always been that way and I've actually never opened up to you guys uh, because if you watch that vlog, I'm like, hey everybody, I'm in New York and I just completely cut out the part where I'm like sobbing uncontrollably in my hotel room. I feel so much stronger now and I'm in a place where I'm not like regretting anything I'm just letting go and I feel really proud of myself and I feel so free finally like I I went to New York did like I don't know it was like seven interviews and I don't have any regrets it, it it's 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 everything has been done and I did the best that I can and I have like my amazing team to thank for like I have um my clothing line has a publicist, his name is Cole, and he did an amazing job guiding me and walking me through my talking points, and of course, Ashley, my manager. I feel really proud that I didn't have a meltdown. <laughs> Gold star for me. I am all dolled up because I am filming my Eggy haul. Uh, this video is gonna come out on Tuesday when my line launches, so I'm so, so excited. I don't know, I'm just so grateful for all the opportunities that I've had this year. It's just been absolutely surreal. Um, thank you to everyone who said hi to me in New York. That was amazing. Just literally walking down the street and I meet like a handful of you guys uh, every time I've been walking around. So that's been an absolute gift. That is truly like my favorite way to meet you guys. Just literally candid, impromptu moments where, you know, we get to like chat chat up where you guys are from and why you're there. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna finish up getting ready. I gotta do my hair and then uh, get cracking with filming.